I'm gonna show you some more physics tricks that look hard, but are actually easy. This one deals with the property called the moment of inertia, which is how hard it is to rotate something, um, to change its rotational motion. So take like a stick like this and, and hold it in the middle and rotate it back and forth. Not too bad. Now take it from one end and rotate it. It's harder, right? So that's because of a property called the moment of inertia, which depends on both the length of this of an object and, and the mass. So it depends on how far that mass is from the point of rotation. You could calculate that. I have an equation up here, but you don't want to calculate it. That's fine. Okay. So now the next thing we want to look at is uh, how do I balance this on my hand like this? It's, it's actually not that difficult and you should try it. Uh, but it turns out that the longer the object is, the greater the moment of inertia, but the property that makes it want to rotate over, which we call torque, also depends on the length, but they don't actually cancel. So longer objects have a greater gravitational torque pulling them over, but even more moment of inertia. So longer objects take longer to tip over, and you can use that to your advantage because if it takes a long time to tip over, you have more time to move your hand to make it stay vertical. So you could try something simple like with a pen. Uh, it's really short. There's no way you can balance this. That I can't balance it. Okay, but longer objects, the longer it is, the easier it is. Now, let me show you a trick. What I do is I look at the top up here and I hold my hand. And so I want to keep that top stationary. So if I just focus on the top, then I can get it. And it's not that hard. Now, you could do a longer stick. This works really well. But you know what works even better? This. If you take a mass to the end, you would think, oh, it's easier to balance this way. Nope. It's easier to balance this way. Let me squat down a little bit so you can see it balancing. That's really easy. Look, I'm not even looking at it. Because it has a large mass up here, so very large moment of inertia. It takes a long time to tip over. Anything that's rigid and long, you can do. I can do the stool. I like to do the stool. I don't know if you can see it. Just balance it and look at the top. And there you go. And you look like a circus clown, but it's really just physics. It's really not that hard. Just take a little practice.